We can edit this however you like. <laughs> Happy wedding day, guys. It's spirit week. Woo! <laughs> Hi. Okay. That's good. Take two? Yeah. Happy twinning day, guys. It's spirit week. It's Tuesday. Hey, fifth grade. Ready for the beginning? Part one of your two part art lesson this week. Your expedition has been about change. Your guiding questions, how, what makes a change maker and how can we create societal change? And then I'm going to skip down, how has Amanda prepared me to be the change in the future? Your learning targets today, we're going to focus more on I can use visual cues to tell my story and I can fill the whole page with my art. Before we begin, you will need paper, lined paper or printing paper, a pencil, an eraser, and coloring supplies, crayons, markers, color pencils, whichever you got. A printer will be helpful, but it is optional. Remember, you're going to be drawing big. Now, as you saw from the first part, or from the preview at the beginning, you are going to be drawing a self-portrait, quote-unquote, but you are going to be drawing one with big sunglasses on. We kind of did something similar to this last year at the end of school, but we are going to be making this into the what I am looking forward to when quarantine is over. And you see my inspiration for these pictures up on the screen. You will get a chance to do yours similarly. But today we are just going to be working on the glasses and what you see in the glasses. So, on the website, the same website that your uh, pop art portraits are on, and which will be linked below, you will see that there is a spot called sunglasses and you can download these three files. If you just go ahead and print these three files, then they should be big enough for you to use for your project. If you cannot print, you can still download and you can try to trace off your screen, but remember, do not press on your monitor or your screen very hard. And if you still can't do one of those, then hey, by all means, draw your own set of big sunglasses. Now, we're going to make them purposely bigger than our faces. We want it to actually be a little bit kind of funny looking how big it is. We're not going to be doing super, super huge, but we want to make it look a little comedy, uh, funny about how big they are. So you're going to pick your sunglasses. Print them if you can. If you can't print them, then see if you can trace or just draw your own big version. And this is the kind of thing that I want you to start thinking about. What are you looking forward to once the quarantine is over? And we can go back to living our lives and moving around like you normally do. So, I've got a big set of the sunglasses printed out here. I'm going to use that as my example for today. Uh, before I go too far, I did want to point out that my niece Lucy had her one day, had her one day, had her one year old birthday right in the middle of the quarantine. We were unable to get together and have a party for her. So I'm looking forward to being able to have the one year old party with my niece. So think about things that you are looking forward to being able to do that you can't normally do. So I'm going to go with another one. I'm going to draw, let's see who can figure this one out. Now do you see how I'm going outside of the sunglasses? That's fine because we're not going to end up using those. But then I am going to draw Then I can go up, bump, 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 bump. And I'll add. Then I'm going to draw something over here. Okay. 
and let's see my report yes and in case that didn't tip it off for you let's draw I am looking forward to being able to go back out to the movies I miss going out having some popcorn I'm watching let's see what can I draw Ooh, I'll draw part of the Fox not Fox 20th century logo up there. Well, you can't really see too much of it. Then I want you to carefully color in with details. So, take your time with it. I know, okay, well, when I was growing up, a lot of the theater seats were kind of these. I think they're gone to being mostly blue. But I'm not done with that part yet. And then I'll do the bucket. I'll do my yellow popcorn. But now, as soon as I get to my color pencils, I'm going to add some more details. And I'm going to color, since it's a movie theater, everything's going to have a little bit of a dark quality over it except for the screen itself. I'm going to combine some colors. A little bit more interesting. Color over. And then I would do the same thing on the other side. For today, I want you to work on making a detailed picture of what you are looking forward to seeing in the future in your sunglasses. So please, today, for this one, just worry about the sunglasses and how it's going to look. Then next time, we'll work on the actual uh, face part. So, your task today is to work on the sunglasses. Pick from the pair from the links, and then uh, print out if you can. And if you can't, you can try and trace it. If you, you know, be careful, don't press the on too hard. In your glasses, look forward to what you are seeing once we can move about more freely in our community. And then remember to carefully color in everything. Keep track of your artwork because you're going to need it when you are working on when you're working on the rest next week. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, there's a good look at Ziggy. <laughs> You're there. Well, it's hard to tell if she's... <laughs> she looks terrified. Oh, dang. Okay, all right.